Um, I really like seeing the people that are on this album because it's so fun for me to see. It's like this new generation of country music, just everybody's represented. Like you wrote stuff with Kelsey, uh, I think Luke. Like mm -hmm. it's just like it's all the people that I in my Luke mind. Combs or Luke Combs. Yeah. Luke Combs. Combs. You, you're yeah. trying to make sure that Luke Bryan doesn't think he's part of this generation. Like, Luke, you, you are not part of this record. <laughs> the old news, Luke. Okay. That's the, the, old new Luke. Luke. the new Luke. The new Luke, Luke is coming in. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's like, it's all the people I picture in my head. Like when I picture what I think celebrities do, I'm like, they're all hanging out together. And it was really happening. And all of a sudden it's on this album. It's crazy to me. Yeah, no, it's fun. I mean, just to think that I wrote, I hope you're happy now with Luke Combs, but then Lee Bryce is singing it. And then Thomas Red and Kelsey are on it. And, uh, Trevor Rosen of Old Dominion, and it's it's cool. So when you get with Luke Combs and two <laughs> artists are sitting in a room, are you like, you know, let's write for your record, let's write for my record, let's just write the best song? Mm -hmm. How does that happen? So I we played a round together when Hurricane was out, and I just remember being like, oh my God, I loved his voice. And this is like before he exploded into the monster artist that he is, but I just wanted to write with him and I, I knew that I was working on my record and I was like, I really want to write a duet with Luke for my record. Right. And so he knew that going into it. And as artists, you say, oh yeah, let's write. And then you cancel and, or it never happens. And this, like we kept the date like months in advance. We went in and we just bonded over nineties country and mm -hmm. wrote this thing. Nice.